Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm here talking to you guys about the time when I went ahead and purchased my all new, well, at least new to me, Apple Watch Series 4. That's right, Apple Watch Series 4. And guys, I did it again. I went and bought a rose gold Apple Watch. This time though, it was a real one. Unlike last time, when it was a fake one and clone one. So as you guys have seen previously in a previous video, I'm now purchasing beat up and broken iPhones for dirt cheap and spinning them around by unlocking the iCloud off of them and fixing their issues and selling them for a large margin of profit. So the last phone I just sold was a regular size 5.8 inch iPhone XS in silver color, silver and white. It was a 256 gigabyte version, unlocked. The only issue on it was it was iCloud locked. So I went ahead and unlocked the iCloud, then I put it for sale, and I made several hundreds of dollars of profit in the deal, obviously. So I was sitting on the money, I said, okay, what am I gonna do with this money now? I'm gonna buy a fake Apple Watch again, or am I gonna buy a real one this time? I said, the hell with it. The money was free, basically. I'll uh, go ahead and buy a used Apple Watch Series 4, a real one this time, hopefully in gold. So here's the ad, guys, the song Kiriji. All right, guys. And just like you saw on the ad, it said gold. It didn't say rose gold. So I met the guy there. The meetup spot was nearby my house, but 10 minutes away. I meet the guy and the whole time I'm with the guy, he's kind of like hiding the watch from me. So I didn't really see the watch, but luckily I made sure it was still real by him connecting it to my iPhone 11 Pro Max. So I got the watch app on my phone, we started connecting it. So starting by connecting it, and it's actually showing up on my phone and everything, I knew then it was a real phone. And I waited for him to fully connect it. So after a couple minutes, we fully connected it, and it was up and running, and therefore I knew it wasn't iCloud locked, and it wasn't fake, it was an actual real watch. So in the early stages of the deal, the seller asked for the money up front. So I gave it to him. It's about $400 Canadian, okay. Which is around 300 US or so. All right, guys. So money was basically gone. No watch. But 10 minutes go by. He finishes up setting up the watch on my phone. He gives me the watch. He gives me the bag of accessories, which is, you know, the charger cube, the charger cable, and a couple of watch bands for it, okay. And vanishes. I still haven't seen the watch yet. So when I finally get the watch, meantime, the guy's already gone, I look at it, and guess what? It wasn't yellow gold. It was rose gold. I said, oh, damn, again, I got another rose gold Apple Watch. I never wanted a rose gold Apple Watch. I wanted a yellow gold Apple Watch. So I cooled off for a bit, and apparently I found out that in the Series 4 model, there's only one kind of gold Series 4. There wasn't two kinds. There wasn't a yellow gold, and then another rose gold. There was only a regular gold. So apparently this regular gold, the Series 4s, looks a bit rosy. So now I already give the money, the guy was long gone, I'm stuck with the watch. I put it for sale for a day or two, I never got a response from anyone. So therefore, I decided to just the hell with it and just keep it. So I kept it. Anyways guys, so this is now my fake Apple Watch Series 1 watch. You can see. Here's the charger for it. Actually has these four gold prongs on it that go on these gold pads here, like so. And there's a mark here to make sure you put it correctly because it matches up with this mark here too. So basically put it on like this with a the mark there, it goes on here. So it goes like that, see it's magnetic. Nice. Okay, let's turn it on for you guys. Makes this noise. And it has an Apple logo because apparently like a code you can enter into this uh, fake Apple Watch and therefore create an Apple logo to come on on your boot screen. Okay, 
And that's the watch I have on it right now. So that's a okay, watch face. You switch to that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and then back to, no, it's another one again, and then back to the start. Okay, the actual home screen, there you are. Similar to the real Apple Watch home screen. Okay. And it does hook up to your phone. You can actually dial to make phone calls. You can receive phone calls on here. Uh, you can't really message too much. It's not about messaging. Uh, the email doesn't really work either. There's even a heart rate monitor on here, but it's obviously fake. Okay. And this is the iPhone. You can try to go back. Wonderful. All right. There's a phone dial pad. You can directly dial from here. And you can press call. And it'll call using your iPhone. All right. And a few other apps like, you know, alarm, stopwatch. You can play your music through here on your iPhone library. It's got a pedometer. So this fake Apple watch is decently packed with goodies for you. All right. So this watch started at all. And notice it's actually yellow gold. That's right. The first Apple watch I got was a fake Apple watch. I ordered gold. Okay. So this started off my love and want for apple watch all right got my airpods 2 here sitting nice and cozy i haven't gotten the airpods pro just yet but i'm working on that stay tuned for my unboxing and my full review all right guys so that takes care of this i have here guys my fake air power and my real apple watch series 4 real charger so guys i've gathered a nice collection of Apple Watch bands. Here they are. They're all for the 42 millimeter one version of Italy. Okay, there's some. One is stuck here. Okay, so we have a black middle east loop. Oh, which this is fake. I didn't want to spend the $300 on it. So I got a fake one for about $10. Okay. Next up, I have this 42 millimeter white one silicone band again fake version i've got the black one on here again fake version got this leather one okay it's this nice buckle very nice black leather nice lovely i've got this dark blue leather one it's kind of buckle wonderful and the same kind of style, but just brown. Brown leather, nice buckle. So I have one, two, three, four, five, and this one's six. I bought six Apple Watch bands initially for this fake Apple Watch. All right, guys? And just a couple of days ago, I went ahead and bought, like you guys know already in this video, the new to me Apple Watch Series 4 in you guessed it rose gold unfortunately all right guys so here's the actual watch series four as you can see okay it's a gps plus cellular so this model in canada was roughly about 800 and some odd dollars about 900 dollars per in which is really really expensive for an apple watch all right guys again rose gold unfortunately it looks kind of pinkish to me I'm not too happy with it but you know I guess I'll live. Okay. And you might ask me, what came with this Apple Watch? Well, you guys saw it. It was this real Apple Watch charger, the cube. That's on the end of it, okay? As well as this pink sand silicone band, okay? I guess it came together with the Apple Watch initially. And then the seller also included another black Milanese watch band okay i asked him if it was real or not it didn't respond so therefore must mean it's fake like mine all right guys so i have two black millionaire's loops one that was mine initially and one that the seller just included with the watch all right guys that's mine that's sellers let's go ahead now and turn on the watch i think the button is right here to turn on side button 
There we go. Same basic Apple logo like my fake one. Series 1-1. One, one. Okay. It's taking a long time to boot up. I have it now running on the developer's beta. So it's iOS 6 point something. Damn, it's really taking a long time to boot. Wow. And there we go, boot it up, okay. Put my Apple Watch faces, okay. Hard press. Another one of my faces. Another one. Another one. There you go. You've got Mickey. Okay. There's Toy Story. Nice. Love it. And that's the end of it. Put back on Toy Story. Woody there. All right. So as you guys see, I've got a lot of Apple Watch faces on this Apple Watch right from the get-go. As I'm so into these Apple Watch faces and love them so much. Let's go ahead now and get into the watch. And there you go. You see? Doesn't look so real. And believe me, it's real. I paid a fortune for this watch. Small, small fortune. Not quite 900, but not too far from that. All right. It's got all the apps, the basic apps. And all I've added so far basically is just like a RBC banking app. I tried using it, but uh, apparently it doesn't even look to my account. See, it gives me this error message. You have to set up account preview with Apple Watch. I tried doing it, I couldn't figure it out. Let's go back. All right, guys, there you go. Let's see now if I can charge it here with my fake air power. Put it on here. Bam, yep, charging indicator, and it's charging. So it works. Let's go ahead and try it with my real Apple Watch charger. Yep, it worked. It had the tone too, saying beep, I'm charging. Try it again. Yep, it beeped, there you go. Try it here. Not so. Here. Not so. Only works in one spot, looks like. Yep, works. So, fake air power, doing the job quite nicely. All right, guys. So I'll go ahead now and put on my favorite Apple Watch band. It's this one here. Even though it's a fake version one, it still holds on very tightly. And I've yet to have it open by itself and drop the Apple Watch. It's been very safe, thank God, because it coming apart and dropping on me and you know on the sidewalk or in the parking lot would be very, very bad and very, very detrimental to it. Let's go ahead now, put the top one in. Okay. Put the bottom one in. And the reason you know which side it goes is there's a nice uh, silver bar right here. So silver bar means it goes facing in. Silver bar, it goes aside. Okay. Let's put it on. Put a nice soft surface so you don't scratch the screen too much. Clip in your clip. And there you go. Wonderful. Oh, look at Woody. He's doing an animation. Wow. Oh, there he is now. Turn it back on. Excellent. All right, guys. So let's go ahead now and get into my light review. So guys, here we are now in my quick review of the Apple Watch Series 4 that I got a few days ago. Let's go ahead and show you. Okay. Obviously the case is different basically a different design than the Apple Watch Series 3 and before that like Series 2, Series 1. So all new design, case, casing. 
Okay, the back here says that it's aluminum casing, which is true, the cheaper one. And the back is ceramic as well. There's like a side casing, it's aluminum, the back is ceramic. Wonderful. As well as a sapphire crystal, I guess somewhere in the charging spot here. They've now moved the microphone spot here next to the little crown and the button. I'm also noticing that this button is more flush with the watch instead of protruding outwards. I don't know if that was in series three where it would protrude outwards a little bit. Not too familiar with that. Okay. And also I'm seeing here the speaker ports are different in the series four model versus series three. And one thing to add is that they actually made the new speakers here on the Series 4 watch 50% louder than the previous Series 3 watch. I love Apple Watch so much, but some of those things are that I get notifications right on my wrist. Wonderful. And also, it includes a lot of health and fitness features. I use the notifications mostly, but the health and fitness stuff, not so much, once in a while. But what I do like about those features is that if your heartbeat gets too high or too low, my all new Apple Watch will let me know. And it's also able to tell you about irregular heartbeats. And now, especially with the all new ECG feature, you'll be able to get a clear reading of your heart just by holding the digital crown here for about 30 seconds or so, but only when you're inside the ECG app, of course. I already synced to my iPhone 11 Pro Max. I'm actually using that phone right now to record the video, so I don't have it here with me. But I set up the digital crown to be on the left side hand, just because I write it with my right hand. So left hand, you know, you see the time, right hand, you write it down. Makes sense. Last year, releasing WatchOS 5, you can also track hiking and yoga in the fitness apps. And guys, one of the newest differences is sizes. Before it was 38 millimeters, I think around 42 millimeters. Now it's bumped up to 40 millimeters and 44 millimeters. And by the way, this one I have here with me today, the one that I recently purchased from an online uh, Kinuji ad, is a 44 millimeters. And I verified that before actually giving the money and purchasing the watch. Because as you know, I'm a pretty big guy and I like to have a big screen. And truth be told, when you're holding the Series 3 and the Series 4 in your hands, the actual size between the 42 and 44 millimeters is pretty much indistinguishable. And you can't really tell any difference. The screen fills up the whole device all the way to the edges. And even the corners now in the screen are all rounded, which is amazing. So as you guys just seen, I got this Apple Watch band for a Series 1 Apple Watch back a few years ago. And it still fits a 44 millimeter Apple Watch Series 4. So therefore, your previous 42 millimeter Apple Watch bands will still fit and still install and still work perfectly fine with your brand new Series 4 44 millimeters Apple Watch. That's right guys, that's right. So no need to go ahead and order new Apple Watch bands, just use your old ones. And therefore, also no waste by throwing them out and buy new ones. You're saving the environment and also a little bit of your pocket. As you guys can see, I put the black leather one on here with this nice modern design belt buckle on it. Excellent. Very in particular about color combinations. And that's why I stuck with black, dark blue, brown, and white colors because they match a gold watch. Although this watch is called rose gold, it's actually not that rose gold at all. It's a tiny bit, but not a whole lot. So I'm still satisfied with the overall tone and color of it. Not 100%, but I would say about 75% happy with it. I didn't know it was rose gold when I bought it. I thought it was more like a yellow gold, but apparently I was wrong and you live and you learn. And basically just stuck with it now because I put it for sale and nobody was calling me to buy it. So I'm stuck with it and I'll keep it until it dies. In terms of the exterior hardware, okay. Like I mentioned before, microphone here, this inserted button, instead of being a little bit out, it's flush, okay. The digital crown, the line for the cellular line, is no longer a red dot, 
like in the app watch series 3 version i think two versions as well it's now just a uh small little skinny outline red line there in a digital crown i think at the bottom here if you take off this watch band there you go thank you siri you'll see in here there's actually a port for the diagnostics it's basically apple's diagnostics port so i guess when you go to the local apple store they can hook something in there maybe like a lightning cable and read that off the device okay as well as when you mail it in to an authorized apple service center all right put that back on there okay around back here you'll see some kind of nice round design there and it's the middle here is some kind of silver dot the silver dot actually turns green when you have the heart rate app open okay so i guess in order to read your heart rate it needs to have that led green light on nice silver band up here nice glass sapphire and ceramic back okay let's go ahead now and show you that heart rate app and the light see it's green now turn around there you guys can see it now a green light in that silver dot there there's actually two leds now on okay let's go ahead exit the app turns the green light off okay and last thing is the speaker port here like i said before it's 50 percent louder than the previous model apple series watch 3 okay and also it's waterproof there's a mode in the software here where you can turn the speaker ports off basically close them and then when you're in water they're closed and then when you're out of water you start to turn the digital crown a little bit and it'll unlock that feature basically opening up the ports again for sound to stream through and at the same time it also shakes the port somehow to disperse of the water that's already in there you know that's over basically okay now let's dive into software software currently now it's uh november 2019 so I'm running iOS 6, developer beta. Let's go ahead and see what exact number it is. We're now running guys, watch OS 6.1, developer's beta. Okay, the capacity of this watch is 12 GB. I have 10.5 GB available still. There's one song on this device, which I think is actually on my iPhone. Zero photos, one applications, which is that RBC app, which you can get to work. Okay, let's look for software update. There you go. Watch OS 6.1.1. The Wolverine Beta. I have this available to me because I somehow installed the developer's beta profile on this watch. So I'm now able to get the developer's beta updates because I did that. Yeah. So more features here. Like, you know, wake screen, all your stuff here. Okay, settings. Nice stand mode, love the feature. Okay, handoff, website data, dictation, screenshots, profiles, regulatory usage, reset, okay. Those are all your basic features, settings, okay. Airplane mode, cellular Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, display and brightness, okay. Let's make it more brighter. Text size, large or small, okay, have mine a little bit larger. Bold text. Okay, accessibility, voiceover off, zoom off, bold text, on off labels, grayscale, just transparency, just motion. This is basically all in Watch OS 6. So I guess all the Apple Watch series watches will have these uh, same basic menus here in the Watch OS 6. Sound haptex, okay, silent mode, alert mode, max volume limit, okay. Haptic alerts, love that. Crown haptex, wonderful. Cover to mute. SOS, okay. Mine's at the same for fall possession. Should have it on though. Because I do fall and break my bones. From time to time. Confirm. Okay. I actually broke my elbow back about three or four years ago. Okay, App Store. And right downloads, I like it off. Medic updates on. Okay clock 
Oh, so my time ahead. That's nice. Nice feature. Okay, chime, sound bells, speak time, control silent mode, always speak, type of time, monogram, Siri face data source, okay. Health, health data, health profile, medical ID, apps, devices. I don't really have any major medical issues or allergens, so don't really have to have that on there. Okay, noise. So I don't really have to update it, you know. So importantly, weather, default city, current location, correct. Workout, power saving mode, oh nice. Turn off cellular N, built-in heart rate sensor during walking and running workouts. Okay, send very life, nice. Running on a pause, start with a reminder, and workout reminder, take gym equipment, nice. Okay. Go back and try the apps. Let's find people. Okay. It's calculator. See what? Yeah, it tilts. Eh? No, it doesn't tilt. Okay. Looks like just one way. Won't tilt. It turns off. All right. Back. Okay. Maps. That's in Florida. Driving. Nice. 18 hours, 28 minutes. Okay. And there you go. That's in Florida. This is a place where Autovlog, Mike, has his vacations with his wife. And one day, I'd like to go there. Go back. The clock at alarm. Wonderful. Oh, nice. Okay. How do I do this? Like this? There you go, like this. And you can set it. Go back to the hour. Nice. Okay. Cancel. Okay, I think it's ECG. Wonderful. Ah. So you hold your finger on the digital crown and it automatically starts working wonderful okay here we have another app here activity app wonderful great music app there you go It needs to connect to a device, not a music, it looks like. Camera app. It's gonna connect to the camera. Okay. Now playing. It's gonna again connect to a Bluetooth device, okay. The App Store. This is one of the best apps on the phone, obviously, because uses app to get new apps. Lovely. It's got an ear one here. Noise. Measurements are off. Okay. I guess it measures the noise around you and tells you if it's too loud or not. This is a remote player here. Let's see this. Remote player, yeah. Okay. Let's say a timer, yeah. Okay. Let's go to these times automatically for you. Or custom one. Nice. Okay. Mail. There you go. eBay, eBay. Yeah. I buy a lot from eBay, that's for sure. Okay, voice memos, love that feature, love that app, workout, outdoor walk, nice, outdoor run, wonderful, outdoor cycle, and you can see, the LEDs are on again, for the heart rate, okay, back, phone, keypad, 
Wow, I love that keypad, it looks so amazing. It's called Pizza Pizza. Nine six seven eleven eleven. Call failed because my current iPhone is in uh, airplane mode. That's why it failed. Okay. Get your favorites here. Recents, contacts, voicemail. Perfect. Okay. Here's my Apple Home Kit. My bedroom lamp. Turn off. Yep. Turns off. Turn it back on. Lovely. My bedroom Sony boombox speaker, Bluetooth speaker, turn it on, turned on, turn it off, turned off, rush beautifully, all your home kit enable devices, okay, photos, none yet, okay, wallet, I got some cards here in my wallet, lovely, okay, cool feature here called walkie talkie, I don't have any one set up yet. You basically set up with a friend of yours and you can talk over this walkie talkie app without any cellular service, basically. Okay, calendar. Now, I don't like why it doesn't have the actual whole month calendar, it only has a day. I don't know if I can somehow make it show me the whole month calendar, but from what I can tell, I can't see it. Okay, weather. Okay, Toronto, yeah, and as I saw it previously, it's at Curtis, which is correct, because I want a mall on in Curtis, and I'm out there sometimes. UV index, wind speed, today, tomorrow, next day, weekend, next week, wonderful. Go back, Curtis, because I'm there sometimes as well. Same idea. Go back, add city. Do I have to? Not going anywhere soon right now. Okay. Nice thing here. Oh, world clock. There you go. Athens, Greece. Of course, I set that up because that where my family is from. Greece. Okay. I've never really had any issues so far with this watch. I've only been using it for a couple of days and there's been no glitches, no issues whatsoever, basically, with this all new watch OS 6.1. It's even a beta and zero issues. I'm so amazed and thrilled. And there you go. That's how you rearrange your apps. You hold on to one app and it pops up the mall. Press the button back to turn them off. And here's another one here called Reminders. Wonderful. Nice enough to remind yourself of stuff. Lord knows I need reminding myself of a lot of stuff. Okay. And then also the side button here, you press it. And it brings up your app switcher where you can go in and select an app to open. To bring up guys, notification center, you go to your actual Apple Watch face then you press down like that. And here we listed all your new notifications. I've got none. Okay. And then down here are some toggles. Okay. So cellular, Wi-Fi, Vibration, battery percentage. Okay, there you go. Done. Okay, silent feature. I think, yeah, doing disturb. Okay. What's this? Theater mode. Turns on silent mode and keeps the screen dark. It's basically perfect for movies. Oh, here's a feature with the uh, water. Yeah, see? That's when you're actually going to be going in the water. Okay. So you see now here the water dot on top of your watch face here that means that the actual speakers here are now locked in place and they're not really allowing any water inside the apple watch okay turn it off i think you have to yeah turn digital crown very fast until it goes heads and stops it and then vibrates the speakers in order to get rid of all the excess water that's in there and the dot here on your Apple Watch face means that basically you have a new navigation. So go down, you see it there. Do it like that. Perfect. Okay. What else? Ah, nice. It's a nice uh, white Apple Watch face here to make it into a uh, flashlight. It's very thoughtful of them. 
Okay, next. Again, airplane mode. Okay, that's, uh, yeah, turn it to another device, speaker or whatnot, headphones, okay. Walkie talkie, wonderful. And that's it. Press down to get rid of it. And see here, we're just easily swiping through Apple Watch faces, left and right. Perfect. Excellent. Which one, my favorite one? My favorite one is, I'll show you guys, this one here. I love dark blue colors and this is dark blue. Nice modern design, nice watch hands, nice orange ticker, lovely. And you have your apps available here. The calculator one here is very handy. In business, you always need a calculator handy. All right, guys, here is your battery percentage amount, okay. There's your heart rate, okay, and music. The four things I use mostly on this Apple Watch. And I think we covered everything so far. Yeah, messages, the last one maybe. We got a message here saying okay, and then another message saying, seems much better, okay, another one saying thanks. So you guys not get the idea, you can go up and down in your message list. Okay, back. And that's it, there you have it. And to add new watch faces, you do that solely on your iPhone. All right, guys, so you go on your iPhone, on your watch app, and in there you can select new Apple watch faces. Wonderful. You can do customize. Okay, you use your crown to change settings on it. Okay, so you do this, go back, pick it. There you go. A simple looking one. Wonderful. And you guys have it. My Apple Watch Series 4 that I bought off Kijiji used. The only damage I had on this uh, watch when I bought it was somewhere here was scratch. See right there? Like right there really? The scratch. That was it. And I managed to get the seller down a little bit in price in order to go ahead and buy it. The only thing I'm not too happy about is that Apple chose to go the rose gold route instead of yellow gold. But if you don't mind it too much, it's still wonderful. So in terms of software and in terms of hardware, this watch has been flawless. I absolutely love it. I highly recommend it to everyone out there. Go ahead and get one and get one either used or refurbished or if you're still selling them right now, when you watch this video, go ahead and get yourself a brand new one. So you guys have it. My Apple Watch Series 4 review. I hope you guys liked it a lot. I know we didn't go ahead and go outside and do some workouts and exercising, but it's kind of late as I now. All right, guys, please feel free to drop a like on this video. Take care. Have a good night. Please subscribe to my channel for more future Apple devices buying videos. This is Mr. Reason 2. I'll see you guys on the next upload.